Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Vegan View. So today we are doing another Trader Joe's taste test, but this time we thought we would put a little holiday spin on it since Trader Joe's always seems to have some like really good holiday items. So we thought we would put it to the test. So first we have this almond nog, a rich and creamy non-dairy almond beverage. Mm. I really used to like eggnog growing up. Were you guys eggnog fans? No, neither one of you? <laughs> well, so then you probably will not like this. <laughs> but I like all the things that are in eggnog, like cinnamon. And what, like nutmeg Eggs. probably? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no. That's the part. It always, the name is what always is thrown right. off. Right. It just reminds me of the holidays. I don't know, the flavors. It's also a very interesting color. It looks like liquid jello pudding, like vanilla jello pudding it mix. Is. Yeah. It's definitely, I feel like, more of like a treat than a drink. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. It doesn't really taste like eggnog. It's just really yummy milk. Yeah, it kind of <laughs> just tastes like a spicy almond milk. <laughs> yeah, it does. But it's thicker. Like mm -hmm. it's almost like pouring custard texture. Like mm -hmm. it has this like thickness. Yeah. This would be so nice over like a vegan pound cake. Oh, I love it. It just tastes like the holidays to me. It has such That's an interesting really nice. texture. Yeah, That's someone, really good. I'm surprised. As someone who doesn't really like eggnog and I've had other vegan eggnogs that's really nice it's not as thick it's kind of refreshing in a weird way mm -hmm. the color comes from pumpkin concentrate oh, oh. So it's a health food yeah, what do you I give it one out of ten what do we what do we think it's just so cozy yeah I give it I, don't, I give it a nine I'm a 10 out of 10. Ooh. Ooh. That excited me. I'm going to give it a 7. It's good for what it is. I just don't know that I, I personally would buy it. But it's mm. it's better than I thought. That would be such a good base for hot chocolate. Yeah. I was thinking like in coffee or hot chocolate. Yeah. In <laughs> coffee? <laughs> Nikki's like, It's no. just very thick for me. Yeah, you don't like thick coffee. I feel like I it's do. not yeah. that. Yeah, I like creamy, creamy, thick. Next we have this pumpkin spice almond beverage. I feel like this is going to be... Similar? Have you had yeah. this before? I can't remember. If I can't remember this. if I've had it before or not. Okay, if I have, it's been a long time and I forget. <laughs> I forget easily, so. This is one of those things I see at the store and I always walk by and I'm like, hmm. And then I leave it because I don't know. Why did I? I know. I was like, <laughs> and she's like, and we're done. Oh. Also, also it it's says orange. On, it says on the box that you can have it chilled or warm. Oh, that's nice. Warm. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. It's like liquid pumpkin pie. Yeah, it's yeah. like a liquid pumpkin bread. It smells like pumpkin pie. Very, like a mm. lot of cinnamon. A lot huh? of spice. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. Do I not like pumpkin spice or do <laughs> I not like this? I can't tell. I think I like this. I like the beginning part of it. Like the flavor at first initially is very pumpkiny and holiday, but then it kind of goes flat and like bullet. At the end, I don't know if I would drink that. Yeah, maybe warm would be better. To me. Maybe if you're like looking for a pumpkin spice like creamer, this would be nice because mm -hmm. you're just doing a little splishy, splishy splash. Yeah, but I wouldn't like go home or be like pour <laughs> a big glass. Yeah, <laughs> get in my jammies and be like, <laughs> I'm gonna drink pumpkin pie. <laughs> nice frothy beverage. <laughs> like I'd rather Turn eat pumpkin movie. pie or like have it's some like a candle. Like, mm -hmm. It's not overly sweet though. I was no. expecting both of those to be like sugar bombs and they're really not. The sweetness no. is pretty balanced, I would say. And if you like pumpkin beverages. Yeah, maybe we just aren't a PSL kind of Yeah. Ladies. What do you give it one to 10? Mm, I'm gonna give that a seven. I think it's good, but it's just not for me. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna give it a five, I'm kind of meh. I'm gonna give it a five. <laughs> I wanted to say more, but I was like, that's rude. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty meh about I it. Like it's if not you bad. really liked pumpkin, I would recommend it. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, if you were like waiting for fall and you're like, pumpkin spice is back, <laughs> like you will like this. Yeah, it's nice. But I am that person and I don't like it, so oh. take make of that what you will. Now we have the Scandinavian Tidings. This is the holiday version of their Scandinavian Swimmers. I love Which are swimmers. like Swedish fish, if you guys have never tried them. 
I love a gummy candy. Mm -hmm. so, I'm so excited. And one that's shaped in a holiday mm -hmm. festive manner. No, I don't want the red. <gasps> Actually, I do want the red. <laughs> oh, so many options. I go for clear. Yeah, that's... I like the shape of that one, the star. Yeah, me too. That's why I wanted it. This is a little bobble, right? Bobble. I might have to try one of each to give it a proper... Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. You. Cheers. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> mmm. 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 Whoa. The These red are... ones, you'll... Okay. This is like apple, which, sorry. No, I love apple. Okay, but it's, it's not, not lime. Skittle. It's not a Skittle. <laughs> People are gonna be like, what the fuck? Really? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, you're not gonna like it, but like, you're gonna like it. We had a really big bite. <laughs> I'm not having I the prefer same apple, reaction. she prefers lime. What flavor did you get? Okay, I thought these were gonna be the exact flavors of the Scandinavian swimmers. They're not. They're not. Mm -hmm. This is like the Christmas tree is like a uh apple leaf flavor and it's so good. Almost like a this tastes almost like a Swedish fish. I didn't like mine as much. This one's not as good. Mm. The it's white a little, one? Yeah, it's try a the little green. like I wanna try the green as well. The I'll green one is a Christmas tree, and it's I, it gets points just for being cute. It's so cute. So cute, right? It's so cute. So cute. I want I like sugar. Oh God, the so green cute. one is so much better. <laughs> I just eat you Stop up. it. <laughs> the green one is so much better. The white one is like... Mmm. Mmm. I love mm. the red one. Yeah, the red one's my favorite. This is a very close... Set. I mean, that one's my favorite. These are the, tit for tat. Green. Mmm. Mm -hmm. But the That's red nice. is so close to a Swedish fish. Yeah. Unreal. It's like a better texture than a sweet. I fish. like the texture better than this. The swimmers though too. This is like the whole taste test. This is just a review of these. Wait, what is this? Mm -hmm. I don't like That's it. That's what I was looking for. It a guy. Like There's no so guy, but in a bad way. I like it. Hmm. No, I like it. I'm judging you a little bit. I'm just I need to cleanse my. I palate. didn't love it. What do you like about it? I just like it. Mm -hmm. It's not my fave of the three, but I would eat it. You know, it's like when you're eating like Sour Patch Kids. Like, you know, you got your ones that you're like, I ain't jazzed about the orange, but like, I'm gonna eat it because it's sour. I was about kid. to say, I was like, the orange ones are gonna be at the end of the pack, and like, sometimes you you just want a Gotta sour patch them. kid, and you're like, okay, orange, it's your day. It's your day. <laughs> I don't discriminate against sour patch kids. I kind of just like well, them all in my mouth. What? At what? That is Nikki Vegan gone wild. <laughs> I didn't mean that. What is that ready? flavor? I know, that's the thing. I'm like, it doesn't, it just tastes like. If you guys know what the white one is flavored, let us know in the comments. The green please. one, if it was a whole bag of green ones, I would oh. buy that. The green is so freaking mm. good. Oh, you know, this would be really cute to use as um, cookie decorations. Or if you oh. make a gingerbread house, you could have a little row of trees. Oh, can we make a gingerbread house? Can we house? do that? Can we do that? Okay. Oh my gosh. Yay. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna no give face. it, wait, I like the greens a lot. <laughs> Give me some candy to review. I get dead serious. <laughs> yeah. The texture is almost fluffy. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It is. It's like mm. thick and fluffy. It's so soft. Good. Mm. 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 <laughs> 10 out of 10. Would recommend to a friend. Mm -hmm. They can't all be winners. You know, the star is giving its best effort. Mm. And 10 out of like, 10. I'm happy with it. I'm going to give it a 9 because I like all the flavors except the star, and I think it would be really cute as cookie decorating I feel toppers. like you're really discriminating against the star. <laughs> well, I had it first, and it kind of just, it knocked me down a couple times. Yeah, pegs. the first one you have really affects. Yeah. I give it a 10. Oh. <laughs> Let's do the next so one. So good. Yeah, they were, they were nice. I almost didn't get those because I was like, I'm so it's happy you similar. did. Yeah. It's too similar to the Scandinavian Swimmers. I was like, it's going to taste the same. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. No. What a waste yeah. of money. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You heard it here first. You heard it here. All right. I don't know if these are seasonal. Do they have these all year round? It feels seasonal. It's cinnamon, spicy, Snicker delicious. Snickerdoodle feels yeah. seasonal. So these are their soft baked mm. snickerdoodles. Mm. Mm. Very excited. These remind me of the Enjoy Life ones. You've had them? The Enjoy Life ones, yeah. Oh. But you haven't had these. I don't remember. That's a thing. As you taste so many Ooh, things that I'm doing. You know that cookie's cute. These would also These be cute so to decorate. Cute. Do you want to share one with me? Or do you want to hold it? Trader Joe's is the best for like holiday parties, yeah. hosting. Thank you. You're so oh, also like so good inside. Cheers. 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 <laughs> I like have to mentally prepare myself for another sweet. Mmm. Mmm. This would be so good with tea. Yes. 
That would be really good with tea. Mm. Mm. Is there ginger in here? Yeah. It doesn't say it tastes more. When I think of snickerdoodle, it tastes, I think of essentially like a sugar cookie with like cinnamon on top. Yeah, it's not a snickerdoodle. It tastes more like a ginger snap, a soft baked ginger snap. There's not ginger in it unless the natural natural flavors contain ginger. That's funny. It doesn't taste, maybe just because we had so much sugar. Anyways, it tastes like a tea biscuit, but not a snickerdoodle. Maybe it's the brown sugar. Interesting. For something gluten free, it's a wonderful texture. Yeah, it's really, it's a really nice, mm -hmm. like chewy, fluffy cookie. That I, yeah, a cup of tea like an Earl Grey with this. Ooh yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say. Delightful Bro, I or love chai. A cookie with Earl Grey. Yeah, I'm a fan. They're good. They're Very not nice. overly sweet either. They're sweet, but they're like not in, in, like. Yeah, these would be cute to like put on a little plate, watch a Christmas movie. And if yeah, you, if you wanted to do a little semi-homemade, like fancy them up really quickly, you could just dust some powdered sugar over them and they would look all festive. Ooh, and that'd that's be cute. a good idea, yeah. Do cinnamon and powdered sugar. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight because it's not quite a snickerdoodle. I think it tastes yeah. a little more, maybe there's more cinnamon than normal or something. I'm not really sure, but not quite a snickerdoodle, but still really good. Yeah, I'm also gonna give them an eight. I think they're really good, but, and they're like, I like the texture. Thing. Yay. Next we have the candy cane JoJo's and it says a chocolate sandwich cream cookie with real candy cane pieces in every bite. Ooh. That's not the holidays. I don't know what it is. I love anything with a candy cane peppermint. Like my favorite thing about this year is candy cane. Really? I love peppermint. That flavor? Mm-hmm. Just my lady. Ooh, they look like double stuffed. Yeah, they do. Which they are the smell best. Like a little bit like thin mint. Ooh, they do. Do you like Thin Mints? I love Thin Mints. Oh, thin Mints are my favorite. Too. Don't you remember we did Girl Scout cookie cookies? They do. That's I don't remember that was your, one of our the first outlet. videos. Cheers. That we did together. Cheers. I don't remember the outcome, though. Um, I'll go watch it again. Yeah, that just was a long time ago. going to have chocolate That's crumble on my lipstick. Oh, wow. They put a lot of filling. Mm -hmm. Oh, the little crunch of candy cane is fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I love that. Oh, uh, that's, yeah. That's like Christmas. Christmas, yeah. That's exactly what I was going to yep. say. That's so good. And like the peppermint, like the candy cane flavor is really prominent. Mm -hmm. So it's like no mistaking, like this is a holiday cookie. Mm -hmm. Me gusta. And the crunchiness of the candy cane pieces so is fun. really fun to eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like little tiny, like Almost like a pop rock. I yeah. just want to take this and go watch Elf and just be like, no, yeah, me too. I want to come. I want to you come. come over. Thanks. I okay. give that a 10 out of 10. I don't think it gets any better for a holiday Oreo style cookie. Ditto. 11 out of 10. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. 10 out of 10. She lerved. That's not loud. She lerved the peppermint. It's I allowed. Would put Do that whole. Feel? I would put that thing away. Yeah. Right. Oh, I thought you. I, I definitely like, would like. Right. It'd be gone. Not need to. I, I, I would eat this all in one setting probably. Yeah. So. As someone who is half Canadian. These are exciting. These are the maple leaf cookies from Trader Joe's with a smooth and flavorful maple cream filling. Mm. I have had these before and I cannot keep them in the house because I cannot stop eating them. They are so good. I will I've not have them before. You never had them? Mm -hmm. I You're can't. not a big maple person, right? I'm not, no. I mean, I like maple syrup on like my pancakes and stuff, mm -hmm. but usually like maple flavored donuts. You don't yeah, like, yeah, like I wouldn't. I'm interested to see. Yeah. I will eat these instead of actual meals if they're in my house. Cheers. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I like them. Yeah. You have to dip them in almond milk too. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Take it down. Yeah. I do. It's weird following them up after the JoJo's because yeah. I'm still a little peppermint. They're a little more right. mild in comparison, but when you don't have them with the JoJo first, they're a lot more. Yeah. I like that the cookie isn't like super sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's the maple. More of like a maple. Biscuit. I feel like that's my problem with a lot of maple things, like a maple donut, always so sugary. sickly sweet. Yeah. These are like, and the filling inside is just like very, very Has smooth. a great mouth mm -hmm. feel. Yes, it's the mouth feel. I agree. Mm -hmm. Give it an eight. Yeah. I, I feel like I probably, I probably wouldn't buy them because I just like, I'm not like obsessed with maple. Yeah. But I think they're good and like I would definitely eat them if they were in front of me. But I'd be more likely to buy the JoJo's. I would honestly too. I like both of them, if you're comparing them, I feel like they're too different, but yeah. these on their own as a standalone cookie, 10 out of 10, I love them. 
I get, give it a 9.5 out of 10, just because I've had the ones from Canada and there's so Oh, much really? Yeah. yeah, but these are really good. But these are good. I'm oh excited God. about this one because <laughs> if you watched our pies you didn't know were vegan taste test, then you know I, I'm quite the cherry lover. Me. I'm nervous about these. These remind me of like around the holidays, someone would always, somehow there would end up like a chocolate box would end up on the table and mm -hmm. it would be these little like liquor bottles. It was like dark chocolate yeah. with liquor inside. I used to, I oh. hated those. When but I, I love like, chocolate and cherry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, these are the chocolate liqueur cherries. And they seem like something that would be a nice gift for someone. Yeah. yeah. So and it's like, really cool that these don't have a cream inside because I know a lot of chocolate cherry liqueurs have like some kind of creamy like Bailey's or something. Yeah. 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 Oh, look at show. That's oh so festive. God. Pretty. That's beautiful. Cool. Ooh. Me gusta. She's so pretty. I want my house to look like that. <laughs> <laughs> Looks rich. I really am scared about these, you guys. I Ooh, feel like they they're going to be a so lot. Good. You love chocolate. But I don't like maraschino cherry. I love. Get over it. <laughs> Are they maraschino cherries? No, they're sour cherries. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Eat it! Ah, <laughs> that, mm, mm, Not bad. Do you know, okay. Don't eat it all at one, in one mm -hmm. go because it's like a gusher. Oh. Oh, by the way, these have actual alcohol in them. Like, they will card you. So if you're under 21, I'm very sorry you cannot have. Not, not for you. Not for you. These are great. Mmm. Mm -hmm. These are a great gift. Mm-hmm. I put it, mm. It wasn't, mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think, like, mm -hmm. put these in a little bowl at a party. Mm -hmm. mm. I like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. give it a nine and a half out of 10. Point 0.5 is deducted because I wish the cherries were a little more sour. Me too. It's a little more tart. Me too. I wish it was a little more like cherry. Mm. The chocolate is so decadent that it kind of overpowers the yep. cherry. And then like you have that like kind of liqueur taste. Yeah, but the chocolate's really silky. Yeah. I was expecting it to be kind of like a dry, thin, dark chocolate. Like mm -hmm. some of those. Me too. No, it's you totally know, like the traditional one. It's like a creamy. Yeah. yeah. That, was good. that was really good. I'm so, I, it was like a lot to, if you're going to eat one of these, I recommend <laughs> Bite it. biting it. Don't pop the whole thing in your mouth because it will explode. And like the alcohol is the first thing you taste. So you're like, oh, what's happening? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but after that, it's good. I like that. 9.5, same reasons. I'm going to give it a... You okay? Nine. <laughs> a nine. It's a nine, nine. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this taste test. If there's anything at Trader Joe's or anywhere else that is seasonal that you would like us to invest our time and money in, <laughs> let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to check out our Facebook page. Subscribe to this channel and our individual channels. And we will see you next time. Happy holidays. Bye. Bye.